What is going on everyone? I am Dusty Vengeance and for you guys today I am bringing you another iRacing video but it's a little different here because this one this is my very first race I ever done in iRacing. I raced this race on December 3rd in 2015 which is a little less than a year but it's getting there. It's been very close to being a year since I have done iRacing so <laughs> over the year I have improved so much and you're gonna see that in today's race here how much I've improved like you can see how aggressive I am and everything in between which I'm going to talk about throughout this video I'm not going to talk the entire video because I know y'all want to see the racing but I will talk about certain parts in the video that I want to talk about so sit back relax your little booties and let's get into this race boys like a boss So in this race, I'm going to tell you guys like the position that I'm in currently, and as you can might be able to tell, I am in third place since I don't have the live or standings in this race since this is a pre-recording. I don't, I'm not. I wish they could show you that in a recording. It would be kind of sweet if they did that, but uh, they don't. So I'm going to tell you what position I am in and where I'm on on the track. And right now I'm running third, pretty solid right now. You can see my running line. It's a pretty solid running line in the beginning of the race and that's when you have fresh tires and everything and my knowledge of tire wear and everything was not very well known then as it is now and i knew i know now better to not use up my tires early in the run because they get really tight these trucks do anyway in the longer run which i think it's like a 25 lap race which isn't too long but they'll wear trust me they will wear you will see it in this race so here i'm competing with second we got a wrecker up top don't even know how I missed that, but I'll, I guess I was paying attention. But <laughs> then we got a smoker up here. This is the rookie class, so you're not going to see a lot of great driving. But you can see there, I am blocking like crazy. I would have never done that in my life now. Like, I know better not to do that. I know to be patient. If they got to run, let them go. But there, I'm just like, no, I'm going to stay in third. You're not passing me, fool. It's really interesting how that worked out. I want to also point out that you, if you look on the top left corner where the, t I call it the TV screen, if you look at that, you can see my paint scheme's got the Grand Miller Lite paint scheme, and that's because when I went to find me a paint scheme, it's kept that file together on my system, so it's going to show it up in the replay, but when I done this race, imagine a solid white car, or truck, excuse me, with the a line on the bottom going around the bottom of the truck being black, so I have a small, like, line going on the bottom of the truck and the rest of it's white so that's how rookie I was then I didn't know anything so <laughs> yeah there you go that's a little history there of this now this is what's interesting watch how this unfolds literally pushes him out of the way and was able to gain the lead out of a three wide situation the lap down card slowed at the top two and I was able to fish my way through there and you need to shut up phone if you heard that. But as I was saying, was able to fish through a three, or fish out a three wide situation, which is unbelievable at Charlotte. I would have never thought that would happen. Somehow I kept the truck straight and nobody else was wrecked out, which is unbelievable. Now, you got second place here trying to take first. I blocked him a little bit. I guess I blocked him or was just holding my line and he wasn't able to get the pass there. Now, one thing I did notice is that some of these trucks aren't smart either. I'm gonna call them out. I'm not gonna actually name them, but I'm gonna call them out and be like, they're not the smartest either because I was holding my line and they would still come up and bump me and you'll be able to see an instance later in this race, which was uh, kind of like his fault in a way. So we'll call out on that. But this was a solid race. So right now I'm just driving, coasting around. That's all I'm doing.
Alrighty, you can see here how tight I'm getting and how my line, I don't change my like racing style throughout the race. I keep it the same. I let off the gas quick and get on the gas real quick as I'm entering the corner and it's really not paying off in the long run, but it does good at the beginning. But I only learned that by watching other drivers in practice and I stuck with it throughout this race because that was the only thing I knew how to do and I kind of figured it out at that time. But now that I have more knowledge of Charlotte, I know not to do that and to let it off and let it roll and ain't gas on it to conserve tires a little bit more. So I know a little bit more about it now, but at the time I didn't know much. All I done was went by other drivers and how they were racing the track as well. But you, you can see here how tight I am. You can see how much wheel is going into that turn. Second place was able to come by and grab it. And it, I mean, I wasn't too upset about it because, you know, it's my first race. Second place, solid finish right there as well for my very first race. A win would have been awesome, but like I said, I didn't know how to handle the truck later in the run. And you can see I still keep that driving line going, letting off like right now and then gassing on it fully in like less than a second. So, and you can see how it's affecting my driving. It's getting really tight coming off the corner and it's not easy to drive. And plus I have that damage on the right front, which is not gonna make anything easier. Oh, all right, so as you can see there, I get hit the wall again, but because a driver had to drive up into the middle of the track, I had literally nowhere to go. Thankfully, though, third place was a good ways back. I didn't necessarily have to worry about him too much, but I do have to worry about this guy behind me, which really I shouldn't have. This was a rookie mistake. I didn't have to worry about this guy. I should have let him go because he was a lap down truck. Didn't really need to battle position for him because as you can see, I'm holding my line and I'm not letting him go, and you can see how it costs me there. He spins me out, and oh, I save it, thankfully. And you can see all the damage I've got now. But on his point of view, he should have checked up and not spun me out like that. It, it, it's a courtesy thing, and you can see them getting bottled up back there behind me. And this was for third place. This is third place right here coming, I think, around me, if I think that's correct. Either that or it's a lap down car. I'm pretty sure it's third place. Actually, that is a lap down car because there are two trucks excuse me I'm saying cars but there are two trucks there's a number six and a number ten that are the same color so I couldn't tell the difference but these two guys get tangled up here a little bit it's really you can see what we have to deal with here in rookie class these guys just are crazy I'm going three wide into two into three <laughs> it's not smart at all somehow I was made able to make it stick though and it was crazy now third place does catch up here he's one of the white trucks as you can see on the TV screen in the top left corner I think he's the second car back in that three car pile there and um, I'm letting this guy go around me on the bottom and along with that third place was able to get a run on the bottom and I was able to let him go as well which is what I should have done on that lap car before and I probably would have had a better finish than what I am in now so Overall, there's a lot of rookie mistakes here. This guy here, though, gets a lot of, a lot tight. <laughs> it's not the right way to say it, but he gets really tight coming off turn four. And I was able to take advantage of that, grabbing second again, but it didn't really last long because my car is just beat up, or my truck is beat up, and he has a cleaner truck, and he knows the track a little bit more. He probably has a lot more fresher tires than I do, so he was able to get a run on the, high, on the bottom. The n next truck tried to get a run on me, which was for fourth, and I was able to cut him off there, which I think I would have still done today, you know, if I wanted to really finish in the top three. 
so I guess it was a good move there and holding off third position I really wanted the top three I w would have been happy with the top four even if, if, if I got there but if I was in contention to get three top three I wasn't going to let it up easily so as you can see here I'm trying to block wasn't really going to fully block I gave him a hole there but he still wasn't able to capitalize on it because he was running pretty much the bottom of the track anyway on the back stretch which really doesn't work but there is that and it was just me blocking him the rest of the race But all right, you can see there, he gets a run on me on the inside, was not able to completely block him. I was so tight, the tire wear really does come into play here. I just wasn't able to keep up with it. But as you can see, he was not able to keep up with it as well. He hits the outside wall, loses a lot of speed. I keep my speed and was able to come back and grab third place again. I think we only have less than five laps to go. I'm not sure exactly how many to go. But we are closing down to the final laps and i was kind of getting excited and nervous at the same time because like i said this is the very first time i've ever raced in i racing never thought i would do this could believe it or not it's kind of it was kind of a surprise to be able to finish this well but if i were to play smart or race smart i could finish well because pretty much the whole field had wrecked out and was at least a lap down i think the last car in the lead lap was fifth place so i would have at least gotten fifth place so not going to complain with that. I believe that was it. That was the final lap, actually, and that's the end of the race. Finishing third place. Pretty solid run there for a beat-up truck like mine. And this guy comes flying in very smartly like a rookie. And But remember, this is a year ago. I'm a rookie as well. I am not in my C class or even in the D class then. I'm starting out, and it's... A lot different than what it is now a lot more drivers are smarter now and they race a lot more cleaner and respect you a lot more for racing clean here everybody's just wild with chickens heads cut off it's crazy man absolutely crazy but it was fun though nonetheless i really had a good time racing this race and i'm really enjoying i racing now and it's just a blast i think and i hope this was a refresher from other than road to the top i know i've been doing that a lot here of late and i'm going to continue to still do it but I hope you guys will enjoy this new type of video. If you enjoyed this, make sure you slap a thumbs up, subscribe, and become a boss today. And guess what? I'll see you guys later in the next video. Signing off.